Hello everybody, today I'm going to explain how to solve the problem NASTIA and scoreboard from the code for Cisron 637. In the division 1 version, this was the task B. However, in the division 2 version, this was the task D. In this problem, we are asked to find the maximum number we can get if we have an array of strings of length n and a number k, which represents the number of positions we can replace from 0 to 1. Because as you may have noticed, each position out of the n strings represents a configuration of like open, uh, which has length 7. And I'm going to move straight to the implementation since you will observe that uh, literally all of the ideas necessary for the problem can be explained quite well using the solution. As you may see, uh, I have used a DP solution because it's quite hard to come with a greedy algorithm which solves this problem successfully and I went on with a rather classical DP approach. DP of i, j and k is one if we can get a number starting with digit i at the position j and k replacements are left. And uh, this works in uh, n or multiplied by 9 but multiplied by k because we have a small constraint n and k up to 2000 and the solution should work well. Also, uh, the, solving, the DP recurrence will be built from back to front, like from position n to position 1. And in this sort code, which has got pretested in the problem, the contest. Hopefully, it don't, doesn't get any wrong answer on the system test. But even if it gets wrong answer, the idea is correct. It, the only reason why I would get failure on system test may be some bug in implementation. In this for loop, I'm fixing the position of the digit from n to 1, because as I said, I'm going from back to front, and the digit I'm going to check. Also, we have uh, the difference, uh, which tells us how many bits we must uh, switch on. And for each bit, I'm trying to see if uh, the state is valid with respect to the number on the position i, and the number of switches already on. Basically, if there is some bit in the original number which doesn't feature in the number we want to replace it to, we shouldn't uh, check that state. Here I put some weird number just to, to ensure me that I will check properly this, because apparently when I was in contest, this sequence was the reason why I got wrong answer. And I decided to write it in this way just to be safe. There is a constant time uh, approach to do it, but apparently it got for me wrong answer in present. So I went on to change to this kind of approach. Now I'm fixing the state on the previous position, which is i plus 1, and also the number on that previous position. If we can get already to our state, we should always break because we stick to always have a biggest number. And uh, now, as you may see, I'm checking if the state on the next position is approachable, reachable. And uh, if it's the case, I fix out my state to be equal to one and also another two positions, which will tell us where we should go for the next uh, state, in case we actually need to visit this position for our solution. This will help us a lot when we are going to construct the solution. Here, as you may see, the number checked is from 9 to 0, because we always stick to maximize the number. And this can be done only if we can get a higher digit on the subsequent position. Now I'm checking if I actually have a state 
with the zero replacement left, which starts with digit i. And if it's not the case, we have minus one. If it's the case, I'm going to start with uh, the reconstruction, which is quite a classical thing to know when it comes to DP problem. And I'm going to explain the reconstruction written above. Here, as you may see, I have written by hand all the digits from 0 to 9. There are smarter ways to do it, but this apparently was the only way I could get pretest pet. The construction is quite simple. After using the two arrays mentioned here, FW represents the number of replacements we are going to have after taking the digit on the current position. And the FYD is the digit where we are going to go in the next state. Also, if the position is equal to n plus 1, we will just exit the procedure because we have visited all the states. This is overall quite a classical problem, but the implementation is longer than the usual Cotworth's problem, this recently. If you liked watching this video, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and also press the bell button in order to be the first one to get notifications about my videos. Also, you can join my Discord server, which is in the description, for more content and also for more discussion about competitive programming. Until the next time, stay safe, stay healthy, good luck, and goodbye.